am professor savita bodke and welcome to the quick revision series of international finance in the today's lecture we are going to study regarding the direct rate and indirect rate in the previous session we have already studied regarding the foreign currency and home currency so how we can get the direct rate so please remember that whenever we are expressing the foreign currency in the one unit that is called as the direct rate and whenever we are expressing home currency in the one unit that is called as the indirect rate now this direct rate you can convert in a indirect rate or this indirect rate you can easily convert into the direct rate but how to convert that for that we are having the formula if you want to convert the indirect rate into the direct rate then you are having the formula direct rate is equal to the 1 divided by the indirect rate and the next one is this direct rate you can easily convert in the indirect rate as indirect rate is equal to 1 divided by the direct rate after that i have put a star mark over here please remember that if you want to convert the indian rupees into the us dollars or great britain pound that is usd and gbp then indian rupees we are going to consider as the 100 basis points as of now you are not able to understand this but whenever we are going to solve the numericals you will be easily able to understand it again i am going to revise that whenever you are expressing foreign currency in the one unit that is called as the direct rate and whenever you are expressing home currency in the one unit that is called as the indirect rate now we are going to start with the numericals so now the first one they have given you the question that identify the names of the respective countries where the following is the direct quote for each find the indirect quote in that country now the first they have given you that rupees 75.31 is equal to the gbp1 now what we have to find out we have to find out the country where it is a direct quote so now what's the rule over here whenever we are expressing a foreign currency in the one unit that is called as your direct rate now in this equation we can easily see over here i'll keep this as it is okay so now here whenever i am in india i am expressing this great britain pound as a one unit so it will become the direct rate in india so in my book i have written as rupees is a home currency and gbp is a foreign currency now we have expressed the foreign currency in the one unit that's why it is direct rate in a india now how to convert this as a indirect rate for that already we have studied the formula is indirect rate is equal to the one divided by the direct rate but just now we have discussed that whenever you are converting indian rupees in a usd or gbp so you have to consider it as a hundred basis point so it has become 100 divided by the direct rate the direct rate we are having in india that is 75.31 so 100 divided by 75.31 so we will get the answer as 100 inr is equal to the 1.3278 gbp now we are going to understand the next question that is the second question now what they have asked you usd1 is equal to the 48.30 again the same rule whenever we are expressing the foreign currency in the one unit that is called as the direct rate and what they have asked you in the question they have asked you in the question regarding the direct rate only so we are having the direct rate again in india now how we can get the indirect rate the formula is 1 divided by the direct rate but as we have discussed the rule that whenever we are dealing with the indian rupees and usd indian rupees and gbp it will be the 100 basis point so here 
indirect rate will be 100 divided by the direct rate and direct rate they have specified as 48.30 so your indirect rate will be 2.0704 and this we have to write down as 100 INR USD is equal to 2.0704 one is GBP 1 is equal to the dollar 0.639 now again over here you have to identify that in which country it is the direct rate now we are expressing the GBP in the one unit so your US dollar is your home currency and GBP is the foreign currency so it is a direct rate in a USA now you can convert this direct rate into the indirect rate the formula is 1 divided by the direct rate so that is 1 divided by 0.639 so it will be 1.5649 and this we have to write down as 1 USD GBP is 1.5649 I hope that this concept is clear to you now the next question simply what they have asked you that identify the country in which it is a direct rate they have given you one currency pair that is 1 USD is equal to the CAD 1.1630 slash 50 now over here you are expressing us dollar in a one unit so your us dollar is a foreign currency because you have to specify that where it is a direct rate so us dollar has become your foreign currency and canadian dollar that is cad is your home currency so it is a direct rate in a canada i hope that this concept is clear to you guys but again i am going to revise this for you whenever we are expressing the foreign currency in the one unit that is direct rate and whenever we are expressing the home currency in the one unit that is called as the indirect rate we can easily convert this direct rate into the indirect rate and indirect rate into the direct rate you have to just remember one important thing that whenever you are converting the indian rupees in the us dollar or indian rupees in gbp then you have to take the indian rupees as the 100 basis point i hope that this entire concept has been clear to you keep watching my channel for the further numericals of the international finance all the best for the coming examination thank you so much